My name is Donald Jarvis. I recently published a book about my service dog, Mocha. Um, the book is called Mocha, the Superhero Service Dog. As many, as, as many people know, I am pretty active, and this year has been a, a year where I've not been able to be so active, as uh, I've had a lot of debilitating medical conditions that have happened over uh, most of this year. So to keep myself busy and my mind occupied, the idea sprung where um, sitting there thinking in my recliner about both my struggles and Mocha's struggles, how can I share what we've been through in a positive manner to my niece and nephew who absolutely adore Mocha. Um, so the idea was he's a rescue, he's been through a lot of stuff in his life, um, being abandoned on the streets, having hotworm, being told that he was going to be put down, and still my head never gave up hope, right? And then he ended up going on to be a service dog to have impact on not just my life, but others. And could we, can I share that and inspire my niece and nephew to never give up? The target audience for this is, um, I'd say, middle school and late elementary school, um, but also not limited to them, also adults alike. So children, uh, middle school, high school kids, and adults. Um, we try to ca capture the whole group. The book, um, we completely self-published the book on Amazon. And if you go on Amazon and search Mocha the Superhero Service Dog, it pops right up. I did buy a domain name because I started a business with this book for tax reasons. And if you go to Jarvis Script, one word, J-A-R-V-I-S-C-R-I-P-T dot com. It redirects you to Amazon to buy the book. Um, the book will also be sold in person through me only at events, not around town. No, you're not, not on the road here and there, but at events. The story um, takes place before I even knew Mocha existed, and it's broken down to three sections. Um, Section one is Mocha is abandoned and alone on a, the streets of the big city. And he meets other animal friends along the way. So that's chapter one, meeting friends, finding food. You, we identify that he is sick. He coughs a lot throughout the entire book. And coughing is a symptom of heartworm, which is what he had. Section two, he gets, um, it starts with him being chased by a, a person with a baseball bat. And I included that because when I first got him, he was afraid of long objects against the wall, like brooms, baseball bats, shovels. So I highlighted that. And it also goes into him being picked up and going to the shelter. And in section two, we have him identified as being severely sick and that they're gonna be putting him down because of his health. So that's section two. Um, section three, is he gets rescued by the, the service dog, the trainer lady, the dog trainer lady, and goes on and gets the do service dog superhero training, which he first identifies with as police dogs. And he really wants to do it. Um, and once he's healthy enough, he does become a superhero service dog. Um, Moker is eight years old. And so obviously the book is a little, he's a little younger. Um, I've had him for seven years. So he's, he's eight, he's been through a lot. Um, so we've kind of attacked his childhood here. Uh, not attacked, but we highlight his childhood um, in the book. It's, it's mentioned briefly in the book. We met through a nonprofit organization called Operation Delta Dog, which strictly rescues dogs from shelters. And they, then they train them to be service dogs for veterans, um, which to me, it, it creates a smaller bond. Right? They've been through some struggle, I've been through some struggle. I think dogs may have PTSD, which we've highlighted with the stick and the baseball bat incident. Um, so it's kind of a who rescued who. And I've always said that, and that's in the, that's in the book and the thank you note. Please say that. The response has been extremely overwhelming. Um, the first day that I announced that this book even existed caused me a little anxiety. I was sweating profusely at night. And because the response has been so overwhelming, 
there is a very good chance we'll be doing another book, and each book will have their own positive message. The My Service Dog came through not a therapist, but from from the mental health provider. Um, they a mental health a mental health provider made a recommendation to me um, that to consider trying a service dog instead of pharmaceuticals. So what you need to get a service dog, you need a letter from a mental health provider um, stating that you have PTSD or a traumatic brain injury, and then you can link up with the service dog organization. And back when we first got it, there wasn't a lot of them. Um, now there's a lot of groups providing this support. So most organizations need to verify you have um, PTSD or some mental health issue or some disability and then the service dog organization will work with you, the, the VA or the provider and then they'll find the right kind of dog for you. There is, there is a high demand for book signings and public events so we do have one coming up before Christmas and there are a few in the works for after, after the New Year. Um, we're doing one in Haverhill at Battlegrounds at my friend's establishment on December 21st and then we will be doing a few events beginning of next year. I won't talk about them yet, but it's, it'll all, after the holidays that website will be actually a legit website. I want to highlight the message of the story. So I, I, we discussed that I did this when I was struggling um, this year and highlighted his story as, as a rescue. So this message is to never give up. Right? Regardless of the obstacles you may be faced, the challenges that may be before you, um, there's always a happy piece that, that's coming. Rather, it's today, tomorrow, or down the road. Right? Um, so, as I tell a lot of people, you know, every storm passes. Right? It doesn't matter what that storm may be, lizards, hurricanes, thunderstorms, tornadoes. Um, every storm passes, and there is some work that needs to be done after to recoup this. But things become better and stronger after. Uh, much like this book, very difficult time for me while uh, writing the book, um, and I'm doing better today now. Much like Mocha, who's in the book, he had a very rough time during the during his younger age, and now look at him today. So it's a reminder to everybody to never give up, in that um, stick to what you're doing, and there are positive days to come. That's the message. Absolutely.